It's 2019 and DeMarco is a thriving, solid business. But do you know how DeMarco became the world's leading cryogenic infrastructure company? Let me take you on a little trip to explore our history. It's the year 1960. Here we see a young Teo Decker at the age of 23. He's recently come back from a two-year army training period in Suriname, South America, which in those days was still part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Teo was a determined entrepreneur who had the talent to recognize the needs of his surroundings. While on training in Suriname, he earned a little extra cash by practicing his barber skills on his captain. Back in his hometown of Waaland, he noticed there were lots of farmers in need of agricultural tools. And in this picture, you see the place where the magic happened. The first workshop. A barn, situated in the backyard of his parents' house. In those days, every cent was needed, and Teo Decker had to pay a proper rent for the barn. And here we have the very first project. A tractor-mounted water pump for irrigation. Initially, the company was called Dewa, short for Decker Varland. Another idea for the company's name was OKB, Opklomper Bechonne. In English, that means started on clogs. That didn't quite make it. This is Cor Decker, Teo's youngest brother, and, at the same time, one of the first employees on the payroll. Cor worked for DeMarco until 2015, that's 47 years but he's still available today on a temporary basis. Another early project with great potential can be seen here in the form of an Agria two-wheeled tractor in combination with a two-wheeled trailer and a plough made for a local farmer. Now, as you know, the Netherlands and flowers go hand in hand, so it shouldn't come as a surprise that our second project involved a tool that aided the flower industry. Those galvanized racks here in the photo were used to stack boxes in order to dry flower bulbs. And what else is the Netherlands known for? Potatoes. This state-of-the-art machine in the picture helped farmers clean their potatoes in an efficient and effective manner. Back to the flower farmers. Here you see a fan that was used to help dry the tulips by generating a flow of air. This is what the first site acceptance test of DeMarco looked like. This irrigation field pump system was made in 1962. This was our first turnkey project, from design and manufacturing right up to installation and commissioning. DeMarco discovered the importance of showing its products at trade fairs and conferences very early on in its existence. Here's Theo again at a fair in Schagen, launching our new products and services. DeMarco became a dealer of Agria tractors and spare parts. Around this time, the name of the company changed for the first time. Deva became Teo Decker Land and Taunbau Mechanisati, or in English, Agriculture and Horticulture Mechanisation. Of course, the barn soon became too small and there was a need for expansion. So in 1963, as business flourished, Teo decided to build a larger facility at the Smeetsweg No. 4 in Varland. In this picture, you can see how the piles were driven into the ground. His dream of his own workshop became true. As a matter of fact, all of the steel structures were manufactured in-house. Et voila! The new workshop included an SO petrol station that was run by Anne Koening, Theo's wife. The small building attached to the workshop was initially intended as a showroom for the agri tractors but became Teo, Anz and their four kids' house instead. The day of the inauguration, the 4th of September 1964. In this picture, you can see Teo Decker to the left, the mayor raising the flag, and the young gentleman on the right is Ronald Decker, the current owner of DeMarco. And once the official part of the opening ceremony was over, it was time to celebrate. Greenhouses became increasingly popular in the 1960s and DeMarco added these types of heaters to their product portfolio. The delivery and installation of hot water infrastructure was the proposition then. How contrary this is with a cryogenic business nowadays. 